sometimes we do have a bit of a jolly belly mm. with overindulgence. So it's really common at the Christmas holidays, and one thing we have to do is uh, put a stop to having too many. It's, he said the amount of cookies he was having, not the fact that he had a cookie. <laughs> so that, that's one of the important things to remind yourself of. Exactly. So um, one thing that cracks me on people have like a big burger, and they go, oh, but I had a Diet Coke. Yep. Oh, yeah, that makes it all better now, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it, does, it doesn't. No, so let's expand on overindulgence yes. because, um, especially in New Zealand, well, especially worldwide, um, food is a gift sometimes as well. Absolutely. And you don't want to offend Absolutely. Do you? You just have to eat in moderation of the stuff. So um, say some people might have a strong reaction to certain foods. You don't have to eat those foods. If you're a celiac, you don't have to have gluten. Or if you're a strong reaction to gluten, you don't have to eat it. But um, just because something isn't quite your typical food, you can have a little bit of it. And just stop yourself before you gorge and start to feel sick or nauseous. And that's, that's an important thing for us all to remember. That's a form of binging though, isn't it? If it, you're eating that much, it, it is. is binging, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, and we were having a little chat earlier about how much food there is at the Christmas table. It actually makes you a little bit anxious about it, about how much there is there because everybody feels like they have to eat that whole uh, smorgasbord that's been set out for them. And so we all eat too much until we're a bit full and sick. And that's something that we have to really control and not do. Is there anything we can take, um, like vitamins or supplements, to aid us through this time for our gut? Absolutely. So when you're having those those foods that you don't have ever, and you're having a little bit of maybe more dairy than you typically have, mm. or or more soy or anything like that, you can take digestive enzymes that will help you get these things going through your body a little bit faster. Um, digestive enzy enzymes are like amylase, proteases, lipases that help break down these um, things in your stomach. Um, and there's some natural forms of that too, which uh, are papaya extract and pineapple extract, uh, papain and bromelain, that help to break down some of these things a little bit in your stomach. Very cool. And do you need to start taking them earlier than Christmas, like leading up to it? No, you can, it take it, you, you can take it on the day, but take it ah. before you eat. Um, mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're not going to be in there to help break down until after you've already eaten and until after it's making you feel horrible. So get them there ahead of time, and that can help you on the, the one-off occasions. This, this isn't a pass to eat that stuff all the time, every day. <laughs> it's, not, it's not literally a magic pill no. that can open... <laughs> <laughs> no. Wide your pants. Um, let's go into sleeping because what yep. happens, people have this big meal and then they oversleep. Yep, yep. And you got to keep with your normal pattern, otherwise you're going to be thrown off too much. So too much or too little sleep are both going to be affecting us. And over the holidays, we tend to go into a bit of a food coma and take lots of naps and throw off our whole sleeping pattern, which gets everything feeling a bit, bit groggy and a bit run mm. down. Oh, that's a, that's actually a really good word. It's that groggy feeling, isn't mm. it? That sort of that that hungover feeling of sorts, Absolutely. like that. There. Hey, you've got. Well, we talked about food and gifting. Yep. What a great gift would be to make some banana bread, some paleo banana bread. Absolutely. And you've got a great recipe that we'll have available. Let's have a look at the recipe up online. Um, it looks manageable. There's nothing mm. too scary in there, is there? No, nah, and it tastes amazing. It's real soft and it's moist and it just has an amazing flavor to it. And I, I make this quite regularly. I haven't made it for the last little bit because I've been a bit too busy mm -hmm. approaching the holiday season. But yeah. for the holidays, make this instead of the traditional banana bread that's going to have a lot of things that can throw off people. Then you can make that good decision while still feeling a little bit guilty. But there's some good stuff still in there, Carl, though. Look. Absolutely. So, so the sweetness that we do crave, that is coming from the, the maple syrup, yeah? Yep, and a little bit of the cinnamon and vanilla will give a little bit of those, those flavors of sweetness to it, too. And can we just say that we don't put then a big slab of butter maybe on it? I would hold off. Uh, that, <laughs> still trying, to, still trying to, to cut back on the calories and the amount of overall content to it because that can make you feel a bit gluggy too if you have just a bit too much. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, that's really tasty, really good, and it's not going to make you feel quite as bad as uh, some of the other things would do because it's not got any of the nasties in it. Okay, so let's recap. Um, you've given some great advice is that, yes, we can all acknowledge and hand on a heart that it is a time to overindulge. Mm -hmm. We've acknowledged that. There is supplements and things we can take. So yep. Health 2000 can help us out with that, I'm sure. Yes. But moderation. Moderation is key. Um, and trying to avoid the things that really affect us and just you know, cutting back on how much we eat. Okay. Well, you have a wonderful Christmas. You What's one thing you always have in your Christmas menu in your family? What's the tradition? Mm -hmm. Apple pie. And it's become oh. paleo apple pie for the last five or six years because that's, that's my favorite thing. Paleo apple pie. Yep. Yep. So, very little, is it mostly apple? And just it's mostly apple, then you just sweeten that with a little bit of honey or maple syrup, um, and not, not too much, and then you just, uh, the crust is going to be um, dates and almonds and cashews, and <gasps> there's, a, there's a bit of a long recipe, kind of like banana bread to get the right flavor, but it's just, it's just a amazing. A whole lot of love in it. Rightio, so there we are, House 2000, we're caring.
comes naturally. House2000.co.nz. If you go on the website, you'll find out about all the locations. And hey, even better, you can actually buy online. Mm -hmm.